So in the previous lesson we learned about uh, you know uh, making sure that your website is ready uh, for the, what you want to do with it. So in this lesson I will show you how to come up with ideas, how to come up with content ideas for your new blog and of course how to publish it, right? So the first thing of course you need to do is you know to uh, find the ideas of what you want to write about. Now the content ideas that uh, or the things that you will be writing in your blog is determined by your target audience and your target audience is now determined by your niche. We talked about uh, you know coming up with a blogging niche. So based on your niche now you can generate content ideas. Let's use my example of my blog bookdirection.com so in that blog uh, from the name of it you can tell that i want to write uh, about books so in that blog my niche is book reviews so i want to be reviewing books reading and posting book reviews yes so from that i can almost instantly think of good ideas content ideas for example um, now i want to post uh, my top five uh, say business books my top five marketing books uh, best uh, or top five uh, self-help books you understand so I'm already in that process of uh, you know generating content ideas based on what I want my blog to be about if you are this say marketing say you want to write about digital marketing your content ideas will be about uh, say what is social media marketing how to start social media marketing how to create a Facebook page how to create Facebook ads, how to start out on Instagram. You get the idea. So generate ideas or think of ideas or think of ideas uh, uh, based on your niche. Now, there are some tools that you can use to help you generate ideas. So one of the best tools you can use to generate content ideas is answer the public. So just enter the word the keyword answer the public to your google search and then click on the first result so this tool is really good in the sense that if you get questions people ask on your niche let's use my example book that books so i can just write books here so I just type books here or whatever your niche here is and just types here just type it here and click search it tells you what questions people ask based on your topic yes so now it will show me uh, pe uh, questions people ask about books so just come here and click questions and here is a list so it's a tree actually it's a mind map so you can see questions uh, that people ask here now what you need to do here is uh, download that uh, download that csv file once it's downloaded just open it this CSV file contains questions that people ask about books. So all I have to do is just look at, through it and then now pick one and then create an article answering that. So I can take this and then now write an article answering this question. So now that you've written that article, the next step of course is to publish. So to publish an article, just head over to your WordPress dashboard, come here at posts. And then click add new so this this article that i want to publish on my new site so as you can see it's a lorem ipsum article <laughs> yeah uh, so this is the title of the article and then the body yes yeah? so what i need to do is just copy everything go to my post and paste it here then come here and copy the title and then paste it here at the title yes and that is it so i'm almost done now by the look of things i should be i should be okay i can just click publish now and you know i will publish uh, this now article will be online so an article to be complete should contain the title it should contain the introduction it should contain subheadings and then the body yes and then of course the conclusion so once you've done that once you've done that make sure you format it so for example this will be h2 this also should be a subheading of H2 and then since this is also uh, that can be uh, uh, you know a heading also now the next thing of course uh, uh, this is now almost like 70 percent done the next thing I want to do is add an image so to add images I just have to download it first so 
uh, I need free images that uh, don't contain uh, copyright. So you can down you can download them uh, on pexels.com. So I need to type here. Uh, so you just type here whatever you want. They say laptop and then go through the list and then download the one you want. So I think I like this. So I'll open this and download it. So you can download the custom one. So I want 1200 by 628 and it's downloaded directly computer. Then now to add an image to an article, just click on this hover around here. And click on this uh, plus and then choose image. So you can either drag it, drag and drop it like that, or just click upload and then look for it inside your computer. Image. Once you've added an image, click publish. And then just like that, your article will be published and here it is. Yeah, so my website now contains an article. So if I go to my blog, you can see this is the article that we added, yeah? And then this one is the one that came with the article. That's it. So that's how to publish an article. Now, of course, this article is not complete uh, without, uh, you know, external links. So external links are the links that goes to other blogs. So what you need to do is that uh, if you mention something within your article, uh, for example, a statistic, make sure you link to the source. Yes. So make sure you link to the source. So here is how you can do that. So you can say or so highlight it like this and then click add the URL, then type here uh, the URL to the to the source. This group.com, for example, then that is it. So this now will go to the source. Yeah. Then if you want also it should link within your article so if i want to link to this article here i copy its link come here find a good anchor text then paste it like that yes then so this one will link internally yeah so once i'm done you update it and that's it so if i go to the post section you see you'll see you'll find your post here and you can see the other and then the categories tags and all that so if i want to add categories uh, i can go i can go back to the article like that on your right section uh, click on categories and then you can click on add new so i want to add for example books and then add new yeah so that will be books and you can uncheck that and then of course update